I made these three worked out prints from a color graph. You want to see the process? Stay tuned! Hello Jelly fans! This is part 2 of the video about creating a color graph from different wallpapers and other deco stuff. Here is the link to part 1 if you haven't seen it. In this part I will print the color graph that I designed in part 1 both via the jelly plate and also directly. Then I will develop these prints with acrylics and, as usual, my beloved colored pencils. I want to print on Fabriano Bristol paper today. It has 200 GSM and you shouldn't use a lower, uh, lesser grammature. I am registering the page size to the actual print frame that I want to achieve with the jelly plate. I cut the color graph to the actual print size to be able to register it better. The first prints I will make with the open acrylics by Golden, but you can use any other acrylic paint. This is the negative print via the jelly plate. I roll the paint out evenly and not too thick. If you're new to this, you get a feel for it if you have practiced it a few times. I put the color graph on top and press it down. But don't wiggle it back and forth, that might leave a blurred impression. I always hold it tight with one hand while I rub with the other. I can already see the impression well, but it's very dark. Putting on the printing paper, registering it so that the paper frame around the actual print is even on all sides. Nice print, very dark, but I can work with it. You already know I am more on the darker side as an artist. Mm -hmm. Next, printing a positive directly from the color graph. For this, I have to roll the paint over the highest areas. As a professional printer, I would soak the whole piece in paint or ink and rub away the highest parts. But I don't think this color graph construction would survive that treatment. Registering the same way I did with the jelly plate, rubbing the paper the same way and revealing. It is a good print, much lighter, but somehow it isn't, doesn't inspire me to go on with that one. Now I want to try some colors and I am making a tricolor print from the jelly plate. This time I am making a background before I print my motive. It has dried quite a bit, so I won't take any chances and take it off with a pickup layer. That you would have to do with the regular acrylics anyway. Oh, wow, that's fabulous. <clears throat> Forgive me for bragging. And that vanity doesn't pay. As I'm such a pro, I have not turned the camera on when I printed another direct positive print on the color background. This is the result and I like it. I think I'm having a humble face now. Now I am, as often, comparing acrylics to etching inks using the soy-based and therefore easy to clean Aqua Intaglio etching ink once more. I roll it out quite thinly which takes considerably more time than acrylics. If it's only thinly spread, it dries quite fast and you can work over it the same day usually. As you see here, the etching ink does again give me textures that are so special. In the sky, the effect is almost as if it was sealed by a foil and reflecting, very 3D. Doing the positive print now with three different etching inks. Charbonnel this time, oil-based and not recommended if you hate cleaning the mess afterwards. Not doing anything with this one, 
And by the way, of course, the positive print is mirrored. So you better plan this when you don't want this. For example, if you have any writing in the image. Now the developing of three of them. I won't comment and leave you with some music.
Here's some last details at the end. Sorry for the wobbly camera. I was too lazy to set up the camera tripod and held it with my left hand. Suddenly a moon pops up. How unusual for me. Well, I have to tell you that I do not like this one very much. Too much attention on the moon now, and the graphic structure doesn't make any real sense for me. Sometimes my vision is somewhat clearer and sometimes not so. That is to say, you give a little, you take a little, don't you say that? Anyway, here's my cliffhanger for next week. Had loads of fun with these ones. See ya!